my name is Paul Adams. I'm the Learning and Engagement Manager at Singapore Repertory Theatre and we are here at the Demystifying Technology event. Uh, this event has been a brilliant idea and initiative which brings together SRT with Republic Poly and working with uh, UK practitioner Nathan Gearing from Rationale Methods. Um, we're really pleased to be funded by the Tomasic Foundation and really what the event is about is it's about aesthetic access. It's about thinking about theatre creation and storytelling using new technologies um, looking at the lens of disability and whether that's using the awesome equipment here at Republic Poly so we've had uh, VR, uh, virtual reality access, we've had 360 cameras, uh, we've had lighting fixtures, LEDs, uh, we've also been playing with sound and sampling systems and, and really what the provocation is, how do we use this technology to enable access to happen when we create theatre? Today we very quickly touched on uh, actually quite a few devices. Uh, the idea is really to give people a taste of uh, content creation all the way to maybe different forms of consumption. Uh, on the content creation side of it, we looked at the use of uh, 360 cameras, which are very convenient because you can just grab the whole uh, spherical environment around you into one picture. And then uh, you can basically go back and look at it from any angle that you want later on. And then we also looked at how you can uh, put that into a VR headset demonstrated the sampling and uh, what sampling is is basically uh, recording sounds and actually manipulating it essentially uh, make sound effects uh, and Foley sounds or even out of this world sounds. Uh, and today I was introducing the participants to um, different um, technological toys within the lighting department that included LED floods as well as uh, LED parts. Really excited about my role in being a facilitator and uh, my goal is to try and make it uh, more approachable so that uh, people won't feel so intimidated and then uh, from there that's where I think a lot of great ideas will come out. You know I looked at it myself as a director I think it's really good for me to actually have a play myself with things that I'd often just sort of ask a lighting designer to do or a sound designer to do so I think it's really good for me to sort of understand it to feel a bit more hands-on and then it means I think the conversations you can then have with the other professionals um, in a group are, are, are more productive and more worthwhile. I think for starters it's just to play you know uh, what I saw in there earlier people were just playing and having fun and creation starts with play, you know, everything starts with a seed and I think this event is really the seed that we hope to plant with technology and accessibility and how we can create works and just play around and not be afraid. So I'm, I'm here to learn as much as I can and maybe share thoughts and ideas, you know, share conversation about how we can make things accessible, whether it works or it doesn't. <coughs> I was quite curious about the event because I don't think personally I've ever attended um, an event which kind of uses technology and theatre. I don't think that's something I've seen a lot of. So I was quite interested um, as to know like how technology can be ex included into theatre and how, how it can be used to amplify the theatre we watch. Um, I think it'll be a quite interesting and enriching experience. I think it keeps us relevant. I think the way that art is consumed can be done in many, many um, forms and I think that that's something that challenges us, that keeps us uh, interesting and innovative. For a non-disabled audience, you know, we experience the show as it is, but how else can the experience be heightened through the use of technology and how much, how much of the envelope we can push, you know, to, to better the user experience. I, you know, I think making sure that every part of the population can be excited and engaged with theatre um, is really important and so I think always ways about looking at doing things differently and doing things better. I think it's been great you know interacting with the participants and helping them and you know being a part of their creative journey and seeing like how much has been done when it comes to inclusion. There's still a long way to go and there's still like you know new innovative ways that we can come up with to just ensure that you know everybody's included, everybody has a space. Yeah.